and you can create your own community and get paid along the way to build out your business, build out your brand, build out whatever it is. And this works for people who are in multi-level marketing businesses, coaches, consultants, course creators, physical products, you know, groups are really where you're going to thrive and you're going to create those raving fans who become repeat customers. and to be offering you guys a bonus training, which is going to be freaking epic. So if you have ever wondered how to create a profitable and engaged Facebook group, this is where it's at this morning. So when you hop on, I would love to say hello. So say hey, so I know that you're here and we can um, just be engaged because this is a very interactive training that I'm offering for you guys today. So this is also where you are going to learn how to create a profitable and engaged Facebook group. Maybe this is gonna really just like kickstart you and pump you up to create a group or maybe this will give you that extra kick of motivation to get started in your group again or to revamp something. There's a lot of really outdated information out there when it comes to Facebook groups. So I wanna let you guys know that this is very current information. You're going to want to grab a pen, grab a notebook, take notes because we're gonna have some juicy, great information for you this morning that is just gonna like pump you up, get you motivated so if you're ready, Say yes. So we are going to get started and um, I want to share with you guys first off why I am so passionate about this topic. So as I shared in my welcome video yesterday when we kick started this the Women of Wealth and Worth Summit, I shared that back in February of 2018, I was in a successful corporate job. I was making well over you know $10,000 a month and yet I felt empty. I would come home at night and I would be just frustrated and sometimes I would just find myself really sad and like crying and my poor husband he's so freaking sweet he would say things like what do I do like what do I do I and I would just be like I don't know I just feel like I just I just don't get it you know I don't understand and it's funny because even though like I was hugely successful I was at the top of my company I was getting huge awards every single month and I still have them they're up on my shelf just like sitting there these awards that I would get every single quarter for hitting huge goals I still felt empty inside and so on February on a February morning in 2018 I found myself journaling doing my morning routine which is like definitely the key to my success today if you want to know more about that I will definitely jump into that later. But um, yeah, I was doing my morning routine and my dog was sitting there, my cute little dog Wilbur, he's amazing. Um, I'm sure you guys will see him at some point during the summit. So he was sitting on my lap, I had my coffee, I had my journal and I was praying. And I just remember that God really put this vision on my mind that I was gonna be on stages talking to thousands of people. And at the time, you know, now that's become reality, but at the time I was like, oh, no, freaking way. I don't know how. You've got the wrong person. No, not me. Not me. And so fast forward after, you know, fighting it a little bit, I realized that I was created for more. I realized that, you know, even though I was making a difference in my job, even though I was, you know, successful in the world's terms, I realized I was created for more. I really just wanted to help people. I wanted to use my experience and my past. You know, I've overcome um, abuse and I've overcome alcohol addiction and I've overcome a lot of things to get to where I'm at today. And I wanted that to make a difference in just one person's life. I wanted to be able to take my mess and create a message. And the thing that I quickly realized was just like when I stopped drinking, you know, nine and a half years ago, that I had to really look around at the people that were in my life. And I realized, you know, I had people in my life who were successful. I had a great network of people around me, but I wanted people around me who would just go a little bit deeper with me. 
You know, I wanted people around me who understood the drive and the passion that I had in my heart to just go a little bit deeper. And, you know, being the leader I am, I really stepped into my leadership and was like, you know what, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. In the way, like, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. So what I did is I created a tribe around me. At the time, I had no idea what I was gonna offer. I had no idea what I was gonna sell. If you watch my early videos when I shifted into the online space and rebranded my company into Val Nichols Coaching Inc., what I was doing is I would, if you watch my videos from two years ago, I'm like, Hi, I'm a female empowerment coach for women. You know, I'm a I'm a success coach. I'm a I'm a mindset coach. Like all of these things. I had no freaking idea. I had no idea what I was going to do. I had no idea what I was going to offer. I had no idea who I wanted to work with. You know, all I know is that I had done executive coaching back in 2014, wildly successful, but because of my mindset, I got stuck and ended up going back to the corporate world. That's a story for another day. But, um, you know, I remember that feeling of just feeling so defeated and feeling like um, I didn't understand why I could have all these things, but yet feel like there was more. And so what I did is I created a Facebook group. And I realized that, you know, if I wanted to create this tribe of people around me, what I needed to do was go out there and find it. I got to create this tribe of virtual women who, you know, there's people who've been in my, my wild tribe, which is my, my Facebook group, the Women Influencers, Leaders, and Dreamers. We are wildly successful. And we are, you know, there's women who've been in there since day one. People like my girl Paige Brown, you know, Tiffany Fritz. There are so many of you that have been in there since day one and have watched me build this out. You've been very devoted followers. And, you know, as I built this tribe around me, I started to feel fearless, unstoppable, courageous, you know, all of the things that I get to be today, you know, because like, I don't really believe in fake it till you make it, but I believe in embodying. I believe in being what it is that you want to be. I believe in standing for yourself and standing for the vision in your life so that you can propel yourself forward so that you can create the life and the business that you truly desire. Here is what who Facebook groups are for. I have found that there are three types of people that are hugely successful in Facebook groups and this is something that you guys I teach my clients how to do because when you talk about um, Facebook let's just say Facebook or social media Instagram LinkedIn wherever it is that you're hanging out your Facebook page or your Instagram page your LinkedIn page that's kind of like the front of your house right like it has curb appeal people might drive by they think it's pretty they look at your pictures they might watch your videos they might hang out there a little bit they might even come in and like hang out on your yard and sit with you for a while right so it's a great way to kind of like surface level get to know you but your Facebook group is like inviting someone into your living room right like imagine that if if you're showing your home if you're trying to sell your home then someone drives by they look at the curb appeal they look at your lawn they think it's beautiful but inviting someone into your Facebook group is like inviting someone into your living room this is where they're actually gonna sit they're gonna hang out and you're gonna get to know them in an intimate level so I found that there's three types of people who really thrive in Facebook groups and this is number one people who don't really quite know kind of like I was two and a half years ago, who don't quite know what it is that they're going to offer, or maybe they haven't quite nailed down their niche, which this is something that I do a training on, on, on finding your ideal niche and niching down to attract your ideal clients. So if you haven't quite figured out who it is you wanna work with, or what it is you're gonna offer, having a Facebook group is like dynamite. It is the best way to do your market research, to get to know your ideal clients, and to get to know what it is that they, they fear, the things that they desire, to get to know the things that, what are they about, who are they as humans, and what do they really want from you, specifically? Because you're ultimately going to, with your energy and your expertise, and the thing that really lights you up, the things that you love to talk about, that is what is going to attract your ideal clients to you. So this is great for people who, you know, you can really step into your leadership and you can create your own community and get paid along the way to build out your business, build out your brand, 
build out whatever it is. And this works for people who are in multi-level marketing businesses, coaches, consultants, course creators, physical products, you know, groups are really where you're going to thrive and you're going to create those raving fans who become repeat customers because as you guys may or may not know, depending upon what level you're at in creating your brand, creating your business, it can be um, very expensive to create a new lead, right? Like if you look at my numbers right now, we create a lot of org organic content and honestly, I have not spent a lot of money um, in building my business and building my brand as far as like advertising. I did do some paid advertising for this summit. So if you look at that, we're spending about $4 per lead that came into the summit. So we have this group and then we also have our email marketing, which is like huge. You know, our email, everyone who's like getting the emails is like a bigger group. But, um, you know, we're, we're spending about $4 per lead for this summit, right? So depending upon what your numbers are, it costs a lot more money to create a new lead than it does to create raving fans and keep the leads that you have. Think about someone like Apple, right? Like full disclosure, I am not a huge Apple consumer. I actually really like my Android phone for the customization and the abilities that I have. I have this amazing phone that I can do webinars from and all of these things. However, I am using an Apple, um, iMac right now. I do like it for video integration. So think about Apple. They have raving fans, right? Starbucks, raving fans. These are people who are literally like so bought in that they're spending six dollars or more for a coffee. Or if you talk about Apple, one of my like best friends is an Apple tech and he is always raving and he talks about how in downtown Portland, Oregon, People literally set up tents. This was before COVID, of course. People literally set up tents outside of their their company, outside of their building, like two days before the new iPhone comes out. What? People are setting up tents in downtown Portland to sleep outside of their building to get the latest iPhone. Like this is the type of fan that you want to create inside of your Facebook group. And you know, the second type of person who Facebook groups really work for is people who are making some sales but are lacking the consistent sales. You guys, and this is most people out there in the in the online world is that you know you can get sales like maybe you do a launch and you get some sales but a lot of times what's happening is you're getting those inconsistent months where you're not creating your residual income where you're not creating that consistent income that keeps you in business that it makes you able to invest in back into your business or pay yourself right I cannot tell you how many women um, come to me and they're like, I haven't had a paycheck. I haven't paid myself in months, you know, or they're still in that space where they're not really getting the consistent leads because um, maybe they're not being consistent. They're not having a consistent platform because if you're relying on your social media, let me just tell you, you absolutely do not own the retail space. And I'm saying this not to scare you guys, but just to make you aware that during my last summit, the Thrive Summit that we created to um, serve people during COVID, I had a, one of my speakers who her entire Facebook, which is like the thing she was depending on, she got shut down because she was talking about a subject that was controversial to the Facebook guidelines, so they shut her entire page down. So she was found like floundering, you know, thank goodness she had an email list too, where she actually owned her leads, she owned her real estate, and that's a whole other topic that I teach on another day, but um, you do not own your Facebook like anything. At any time, it can change. As you guys know, it you're, the people who are seeing your actual post, your organic post on your Facebook page is like 2% right now. And that's not great. You know, it's not like I used to do a live on my pay Facebook page, on my personal page, and I would have 300 people watch it within 24 hours. Now it's like honestly 160. 
So, you know, like algorithms are always changing. Things are always changing. And the good thing about that, you guys, is that Facebook is actually favoring the groups right now. So if you can jump in a group and if you can get a group started and create those raving fans, people are going to stick with you, people that love your content, people that are going to buy from you, you are absolutely going to create consistent leads. And, um, the third person that I see is someone who is launching or scaling their business. You know, maybe you're a content creator. Maybe you're looking to scale your business to go from, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching to offering group coaching or you're offering courses or you're automating some of those things. You know, I have both live in-person group coaching that I do and I also have automated coaching that I do. I have like my Booked Babe Business Tribe, which is all about going from hearing crickets on your content to actually getting paid clients. I have my condensed version of my Woman of Wealth and Worth, which is on an automated platform. And I have my Wannabe Entrepreneur program, which is for new or aspiring entrepreneurs. Those are all evergreen, which means that I did the content, I created the content once, and now it's in this video series where people can you know, do it at their own pace, they can slow down, they can rewatch the videos because I do give a lot of content. I go kind of fast. So you can do it at your own pace. And these are great ways to, if you want to launch or scale your business, you know, this is something I did. Our focus at Val Nichols Coaching Inc. last year was scaling. We scaled and scaled and scaled and scaled and hired out teams and, um, you know, have people working behind the scenes to create things to serve you guys so that I get to show up and really serve you guys in a huge way. So those are the three types of people. And I want to share with you guys the fact that, you know, in full disclosure, I started my Facebook group in February of 2018. And then in July of 2018, when I actually I had given my um, month notice at my work because I was a key leader, I was at the sales and marketing director at the company I was at. So I had to give a month notice. And I remember giving my notice on, it was like June of 2018. And then July 2018, I really started putting into place the things that I'm going to teach you guys today. In June 2018, I had more clarity. I was getting, you know, pretty successful. At the time I was making, you know, 10 to 12,000 in my, my nine to five job, my corporate job. And I was really amping up in my, my personal business, Val Nichols Coaching. And um, I realized, you know, it was time to quit my job. And hopefully, you know, I was hoping I was going to supplement. And then July 2018, when I really started putting into place the things I'm going to teach you guys today, I hit my first 11, it was just shy of $11,000 a month cash in my business. That wasn't sales, you know, because you talk, some people talk about sales, but what I talk about is cash, like cash in the bank, right? Because like if someone is taking one of my programs, ironically, that was the first month that I launched my Women of Wealth program, Women of Wealth and Worth program, and I hit my first $11,000 a month in my business. And again, you guys, this is cash in the bank cash, not sales because sales and cash are different, right? So if someone's doing a payment plan, um, I consider the payment that month, the cash in the bank, not the total sales, okay? So when I talk about money, whenever you guys hear me talk about personal income, um, I'm talking about cash money in the bank, not the sales figure. So I hit my first almost $11,000 cash month in July of 2018 in my business and I was like <sighs> you guys nothing about my energy changed nothing about my message changed it was all about I can tell you guys for a fact because I'm constantly like um, readjusting and shifting in my company I'm constantly practicing the things that I'm teaching you guys today because I want to stay relevant so everything I'm gonna teach you guys in here I have absolutely tried and true and I adjust and I always want to teach you things that are relevant today, right? So these are all things I do. My regular Facebook group, which is running all of the time, it's a free group called The Wild Tribe and with that, like I practice these things. I also have pop-up groups just like this one all of the time. I create pop-up groups probably 
once a month or so, depending. Um, I did a lot of traveling over the past nine months post or pre COVID. So I wasn't as active in that, but you know, all of the things I'm going to teach you are relevant today and they're tried and true. I'm always adjusting, doing research, watching, having my team look at numbers, look at the numbers that count. And this is something that's really important that I'm going to teach you guys. So here are a couple things I just want to tell you guys you must do in your Facebook group if you want to be profitable and have engagement. So number one is be consistent and show up. Oh my goodness, you guys. And I don't want to make anybody wrong or, you know, embarrass anybody by saying this. And this is just to like bring awareness to you guys. Like if you create a Facebook group and then you just sit back and are like, nobody's engaging, right? Like I hear this all the time. People are like, nobody's engaging. Nobody's doing anything. And I'm like, I go in there and I'll put my eyes on the group and I'm like, well, you know, you're not showing up. You're not consistent. And like, here's the thing about a Facebook group. People are looking to you to be the leader. So what that requires from you is to step out in your leadership and lead this group because like they're looking to you for the information, to take the lead, to start the engagement, to start the conversation. So you need to be consistent and you need to actually show up, right? Like this is social media. So we get to be social and this could be, you know, creating um, certain days or, you know, creating conversation in there, asking questions. I ask a ton of questions in my wild tribe because I actually am more in love with my clients than I am my products, right? Like that might sound totally crazy to you guys, but like I am actually more in love with the people that I get to serve, that I get to show up for, than I am my products. Because my products are there just to serve them and to give them something they need. And you guys, when you come to your Facebook group and you're consistent and people see that you're showing up, that really, like, it gains so much trust. And, you know, on the flip side of that, when you're inconsistent, I'm saying this not to be harsh, but to just give you some awareness. If you're inconsistent and you're kind of in that stop go energy where you're all in and then you disappear, all in and then you disappear, all in and then you disappear, what that does is that creates a distrust. People will see you're, that you're inconsistent and it'll create a little bit of a lack of trust. Like people won't be quite sure. You know, I always think about the person who um, you don't even know is in your group that is watching you. Right? Like, I have people all of the time, literally all of the time. Like, just yesterday, I got on a call, a sales call with someone who was like, I honestly, I, I didn't know her. Like, I didn't know her. I'd never seen her. But she was like, I've been following you for a long time. I've been watching your content. I've been watching your videos. And I'm ready. I'm ready to work with you. And you guys, when you show up and you're consistent and you just, you know, invest in the people, people will come out of the woodworks. People will come out of the woodworks and you'll have this shift in your business where you go from like being in this hustle energy. I am not about the hustle energy at all. You guys, like as a matter of fact, I'm like anti-hustle energy now. Like once I learned how to really just be, be the energy, be the power, be the courage, be the abundance. Like um, when you're in the hustle energy, you lose a lot of those opportunities. But when you're in the energy of like just serving and showing up and being consistent, what ends up happening is people come out of the woodworks. Like I can't tell you how often I go to my inbox um, in my Facebook Messenger or, you know, in, in my email and people are just like, I want to work with you, right? You go from like chasing people to people coming to you, people coming to you to work with you. They ask, how can I work with you? I got to work with you, you know, all of these things. And I can't tell you how often I get clients from that or get people into my programs without really even selling, right? And this is when it gets easy. It gets to be easy. So the next thing is um, if you do it the right way, you can learn exactly what people want from you. Right. And the reason why this is so important is because I see so many people out there and you guys, myself included, you know, two and a half years ago, I would look around at all of these groups. Right. I was in all of these groups, following all of these big coaches, seeing their lead, trying to figure out their their system, their method. And I would get just so frazzled. And I literally felt like I was like a hamster in a little hamster wheel, spinning my wheels, 
spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and like getting into a rut and going nowhere. Like, it was so frustrating, you guys. And if you've ever been in that space, you probably know what I'm talking about. But it was literally like throwing spaghetti up against a wall because all of these people were doing all of these things and I was trying to emulate or copy their system, their method, like how many times they were posting, you know, all of these things. And I was really um, in the wrong space and the wrong energy of selling something that I wanted to sell, right? Like I wanted to, you know, whatever it was, like I wasn't really listening. I was talking at people and I wasn't actually giving people what they wanted. So once I learned how to really like do this the right way, I got to find out exactly what people wanted from me. And the funny thing is, you guys, today I am like a wildly successful success or um, business coach and I didn't even start out in the online space doing that. I didn't want to work with people in business because I'd been doing it in the corporate world. I've been teaching business my entire life. The first time I started out, um, my first business was when I was 11, believe it or not. And, you know, so I've been like just obsessed. Like I I eat, sleep, breathe, everything business. Like even in my downtime at night, like my husband watches TV and I'm reading business articles. I'm always staying relevant on things that are happening in the world in different industries. I'm always learning all of those things. So, you know, what ended up happening is I organically became a business coach because people just started asking me. They saw that I was building this amazing online business and they're like, Val, how do you do that? I want you to teach me. I want you to teach me about groups. I want you to teach me about marketing. How do you sell so well? How do you have these conversations? How do you do Facebook lives? All of these things. So literally like being a business coach fell into my lap in a way. But this was from doing the work, doing it the right way, and listening to what people actually wanted from me, right? Listening to what people actually wanted from me. And this is what's great about being in a Facebook group because you get to know your ideal audience so well that you guys, literally, I know my audience so well that you'll notice during these interview series in the next two weeks of the Women of Wealth and Worth, like, I will ask speakers specific questions because I'll say things like, you know, for the woman out there right now who's watching this, because I know my audience so well, I can literally be in their head and know what they're thinking because I've been there. I've been in the exact same situation as you guys. You know, I've struggled through all of the things. I've made mistakes. I've had launches fail. I've had you know, nobody sign up for things. I've had the fears of what if I start a group and nobody's in there? What if it's like my mom and my grandma or, you know, whatever. But, you know, like learning how to do those right things is going to really help propel you in your Facebook group. So I do want to take a quick breath. Do you guys have any questions before I keep pumping on? Because I know I'm throwing a lot of information out there. This um, video will be available in the unit section. So if you have any questions, pop on and go ahead and ask right now. I have my, um, my phone up so that I can see your questions. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep rolling forward. So any questions about Facebook groups, let me know. So how do you get people in your group? This is one of the biggest things that I get asked is how do I get people in my group? Because it can be very worrisome or you know you can spend a lot of energy and time worrying about what if I start a Facebook group and nobody shows up like you don't want it to be crickets right but here's the thing you guys I literally had my first eleven thousand dollar month in my Facebook group and I only had 225 people in my group at that time Today, I still only have like 780 people in my group. And, um, you know, I have well surpassed the six figure point at this point. But, you know, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Because I know coaches out there that you guys would be shocked to know that, you know, like one woman in particular, when we started working together, um, I think it was like November, or December of 2019. And she had like 15,000 people in her Facebook group and it was converting to zero sales. 
All right, Pam says, keep rolling forward. All right, girl, let's do this. Let's do this. So this woman had a very successful looking Facebook group with like 15,000 people in it and it was not converting to sales. And she was literally mind blown to her hear that I had a group at that point, I don't know, 600 people maybe, and that I was converting so many of those people into sales. It was like she did not understand, like it didn't make sense, right? So how do you get people into your group? Um, you know, the first thing I would say is like, where do you hang out right now? Pay attention to that. Like, where do you spend your time? Are you hanging out in other groups? Are you hanging out, engaging in, and you guys, this might sound really counterintuitive, but um, literally like, do you, are you interested in horses? Do you spend a lot of time talking about breeding dogs? Do you spend a lot of time talking about um, crocheting? You know, wherever it is that you hang out now, and if you don't hang out in Facebook groups, go hang out in some. And I say this, I'm gonna let you guys know this in a very, um, I don't know, like non-judgmental way, but like don't go into all of these groups to just see what other people do because that's when you get in that like really confused, unclear space. So go out into groups and that you actually want to hang out with and start engaging with people because you actually want to talk with them, right? Like this energy, this space is the space that like you're going to start attracting people that you like, it's your people, right? It's your people. I don't care if your group is about like, um, I literally have clients who are, you know, um, building out businesses and companies about, um, you know, business or, you know, kids starting businesses, kid entrepreneurs or, you know, yoga, or I have one client that has a group that is all about creating a home yoga studio. She's an interior designer and she loves yoga. So she has a group for that. Like there are groups for everything. It does not matter if you're selling boutique clothing, if you're selling oils, if you have a coaching business, a consulting business, whatever it is. If you just look around at where you're hanging out and the people that you are closest to, and then just like really start engaging people and ask them to come hang out, ask them to be a part of your group, give them a reason to come in because it's just like if you were at a party, you wouldn't just walk up to a bunch of people, give them a flyer and say, yeah, come hang out in my store. They'd be like, okay, who is that woman and why do we care? Right? So take a look around at like, who do you actually hang out with? Who do you connect with? What types of people do you love? And really just start building a community. Like think about it as if like these are people you actually want to hang out with and would be around with regardless of if you had, you know, a group or not. So do not, here are the mistakes I see people doing. They go silent. This is social media. It's about being social. Um, again, expecting engagement as if like you're going to open up this group. This is the myth that blows my mind. People think they're just going to open a group and people are going to flood in and they're going to be engaged and they're going to be connected and they're going to do all of these things. So, you know, like put, put effort into your group. And this is not saying that you need to absolutely spend like 10 hours in a group. It really does not take that much time. Um, you could spend 15 minutes to half an hour a day a day inside of your group and have huge results. The point is just show up consistently. And you know, if you guys want more information, I'm gonna put my link below. You guys can ask me deeper questions like, how do I name my group? How do I get it targeted to the right people? What are the two types of content, like active content and passive content that gets people engaged? Um, I wanna talk more about, you know, making it about them, not about you. So if you're in there always talking to people or talking about yourself, you're not going to get a lot of content because people are going to be like, this is irrelevant to me. I actually don't even care about what you're saying, right? Because if you're always talking about yourself, people are going to care. So ask a lot of questions. Get to know these people. Get to know your audience because believe me, when you get to know your audience and you pour into them and you're their leader, you're going to end up building out a business like I have today where honestly my clients are so freaking amazing. I'm so lit up by them. And literally like, I'm not just leading them. Like 
we're leading shoulder to shoulder. We are building out their business together. I'm so deeply connected to their business that it's like I am like their business is my business. Like my energy goes so much into it that I actually like I teach them and pour more into their businesses than what I'm doing in my own company, right? Like it sounds crazy, but it's true. It's like the mechanic that has all these cars, like my dad, like the mechanic that has all of these cars in their yard that they don't work on, but they work on other people's cars all day, right? But like when you get to that place where you love your people and you are more in love with your customer than you are in your own branding or your own products, then you're going to get to know them so well that you love your business. You're no longer resentful. You are... And I don't say that to sound harsh, but like you guys, I've been to that place where I looked around at my company and I didn't even like it. Like at about a year, I was like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I don't even like my company. And that that's when I decided it gets to be easy. It gets to be easy. And I want you guys to hear that and know that it gets to be easy. I want to encourage you in that. So um, Pamela says, mine is acting in entertaining industry, working out and being healthy and fit. Perfect. Great. That's beautiful. I love that you know that because a lot of people, I call that your three pillars, right? Your three pillars. And a lot of people don't know that off the top of their head. But if you're all about acting and entertainment, um, working out and being healthy and fit, those are your three pillars. And I would say literally like all of your content you create is like about those three things, acting and entertainment, working out, being healthy and fit. Like what actress is not worried about those things, right? So I would start a group for women in the entertainment industry, which that's pretty broad. You could be talking about dancers, actors, um, social media influencers, like they are all in the entertainment space and they're all worried about looking good. The healthy skin glow, the green juice, how to work out, you know, what exercises are going to help them build their butt. If you have any of those, let me know because I don't have a butt and I'm, I'm almost 40 and I still don't have a butt. So, you know, all of these things, like these are the three pillars that I would encourage you create a Facebook group and then just go deep, share what are you doing right now? What's working for you? Think about it like a diary, right? Like I love treating my business like a diary where I'm literally documenting the things I'm doing and I'm like documenting all of the things and I can look back on my Facebook um, uh, memories and literally be like, oh, Oh my gosh, remember what the first time I got on stage and got paid for it? You know, like all of these memories that are so cool. And people are going to love it because, you know, people, here's a myth. A lot of times people think you have to be this expert guru to be doing something. But honestly, people really just want someone that's like one or two or three steps ahead of them because they want you to be relatable. They want to see your struggles. They want to see your everyday things. They want to see what you're doing. They want to see what you're going through. They want to be a part of your journey as much as they want you to be a part of theirs. So absolutely 100% Pamela, like go in. I would go big. If you don't have a Facebook group yet, I don't know if you do or not, but um, create a Facebook group for, you know, um, tips for women in the entertainment industry for working out, being healthy and fit. Like that's beautiful, right? And you're going to create your ideal client. And I could see you stepping out as like a consultant in that, not only getting your name out there in the acting and industry, because I'll tell you guys, like, it's not even about the way I've served or the people I've brought into my space, but today it is literally the, your network is your net worth, right? Your network is your net worth. The people that have come into my sphere of influence because of things I do like these summits, like literally you guys, the first summit I did, I brought in a woman who ended up being um, over a $50,000 connection for me, like to date. That was in November. From that day, it's been $50,000 because she invited me to be in, um, you know, to come speak and do all these things and be in these events she was in because she was so lit up by my cause, by my heart, by my passion. And it is equated to $50,000 for me. So you never know, Pamela, like if you bring other actors into your community and you're just serving and serving and serving, they're going to be like, wow, she is such a giver. She's so awesome. Like, I want to tell her, you know, if maybe if they get an acting gig and they're like, hey, who do you know that could fit this profile? And they're like, oh my gosh, this amazing woman, Pamela Hicks, 
Like, I can't tell you how many times people refer people to me because I'm top of mind. I serve. I give. And that's not the reason why I give. I give because that's just my spiritual gifting. Like, I'm a teacher. I'm a, I'm a preacher. I'm a, you know, all of these things. I love to serve. And, you know, like, people are like, oh, my gosh, my girl Val. Like, she is the girl for you. She is the one. I'm going to give you her contact info. And, you know, like, you never know what's going to happen from things like that. So, yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually, like, really pumped to see if you start a group. So, please let me know if you start a group. And I would love to hear, like, what comes about from that. So, yes, please keep me updated. All right, guys. Well, I hope that that really served you. I hope that this really, you know, helped you dig deeper and, you know, excited you to start a group or go revamp the group that you have. Don't forget our interview for today for the woman of wealth and worth. Pamela says, everyone has a story and I like hearing happy, positive stories. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love it. And that's the thing. Like that's what this summit is all about. It is all about hearing the story behind the women, the legends, you know, hearing the stories behind it. Because the thing is that I really want to press upon you guys is that every single woman in the summit, like they're the type of women that you can look at them and be like, Oh, Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. She's a six or seven figure earner. She's doing all these things, but they're, they have a story. They've been through struggles. They've had their dark night of the soul, you know, like they've been through things and they're humans just like us. They're just like us. You and I, we are the same. There is no difference between you and I. And I want you guys to hear that so clearly. There is no difference between you and me. We are the same. I maybe just took more steps to step out into my passion. I just took more steps when I was afraid and went for it anyway, right? So hear that, love that, know that to your inner core. Hope you got amazing content out of this. Let me know what was your takeaways. Are you going to start a Facebook group? Um, invite me to it. I would love to be in your Facebook group and cheer you on regardless of what you're you're doing. I would love to be in there and cheer you on. I'll be your number one fan. <laughs> so I love you guys so much and I will see you in about an hour. Mwah.